The global economy is projected to grow by 4% in 2022, down from 5.5% last year, and expand by 3.5% in 2023 amid new waves of COVID-19 infections, labor market challenges, supply chain constraints, and rising inflation, according to a UN report released on Thursday. In this video, we are going to discuss what will happen to the global economy by 2023. The video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick to the end. Before starting the video, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. Over 40% of chief financial officers cite inflation as the no one external risk to their business and going deeper into the results from the Q2 survey, the links between geopolitics and food and energy prices and inflation are clear from the C-suite ranking of the external factors that are weighing on their current outlook. Almost one quarter, 23% of CFOs cite Federal Reserve policy as the biggest risk factor, and as the Biden administration struggles for ways to increase oil supply and Russian ships stale with seized Ukrainian wheat amid concerns about a severe global food insecurity crisis, additional CFOs cited supply chain disruptions, 14%, and the Russia-Ukraine war specifically as their no one business risk. While the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development still expects the global economy to grow in 2023, it has slashed its projections for growth in the United States to 0.5% and in countries that use the euro to 0.25%. While the economic outlook has darkened around the world, not every country will be affected in the same way. In the U.S., where the Federal Reserve has implemented a series of aggressive interest rate hikes to slow inflation, growth will slip from 1.5% this year to 0.5% next year. But while an economic downturn in the U.S. is likely, the Federal Reserve's efforts to reduce inflation domestically will be much more successful than similar efforts in Europe, which is set to bear the brunt of next year's economic decline. As the region with the most exposure to the war and its aftershocks, Europe's economic downturn will likely combine with more persistent inflation, especially in energy. Global central banks have delivered rate hikes this month, adding up to more than 2,000 basis points combined to fight soaring consumer prices. That's not yet enough, according to OECD officials. Inflation has become broad-based in many economies, as said in the report. Further interest rate increases are needed in most major economies to anchor inflation expectations and ensure that inflation pressures are reduced durably. Expectations of faster monetary tightening in the United States could trigger financial stress in EMDEs starting in the third quarter of this year. In this scenario, the Federal Reserve would see no choice but to raise the policy rate to 4% by the first quarter of 2023, causing a sharper tightening of EMD financial conditions. Several major EMDs would experience large-scale capital outflows and soaring bond spreads, ultimately forcing authorities to accelerate fiscal consolidation efforts. Finally, mitigating climate change continues to require prompt multilateral action to limit emissions and raise investment to hasten the green transition. The war in Ukraine and soaring energy prices have put pressure on governments to turn to fossil fuels such as coal as a stopgap measure. Policymakers and regulators should ensure such measures are temporary and only cover energy shortfalls, not increase emissions overall. Credible and comprehensive climate policies to increase the green energy supply should be accelerated urgently. The energy crisis also illustrates how a policy of clean, green energy independence can be compatible with national security objectives. A 10-year Treasury, which has already doubled this year to roughly 3%, is expected to flirt with 4% by the end of 2022, according to 41% of CFOs. An equal percentage of CFOs expect the 10-year to rise to no higher than 3.49% by year-end. But on the margins, there is concern about rates rising even more rapidly, with a few outliers on the Council forecasting a 10-year that rises above 4% by year-end. In Britain, the Bank of England has said that the economy is likely in a recession already. The Federal Reserve's outlook for economic growth in this year and the next has steadily been written down, with the latest forecast of essentially flat growth in 2022 and close to 1% growth in 2023. International Monetary Fund Chief Kristalina Georgieva has urged economies to adopt a fiscal policy, government revenue and expenditure, that will facilitate efforts to curb inflation. A tighter fiscal policy, she argues, will not only help fight inflation but also reduce the burden of increasingly expensive borrowing. Her stress on reducing the debt burden is likely to find many takers across the world. A recent analysis shows that apart from Sri Lanka, countries like Lebanon, Russia, Suriname, and Zambia are in debt default. Belarus and at least a dozen other countries are in danger of default too. 
For the countries most affected by the energy crisis, the report's authors also recommended that governments consider reducing domestic electricity consumption and potentially introducing energy rationing. Let us know your opinion in the comment section below. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay safe, and we will be back soon with another video.